Here's a question I know that you guys have been wondering about. What's the fastest V8 truck in the land? And that's because recently we did a video where we featured six trucks in a drag race. And you guys wrote in the comments, it's not fair because up here at a mile above sea level, the turbo truck, the Ford F-150 EcoBoost has the advantage. And you're right. So what we've done is we've gathered only the V8s and we're gonna have a good old-fashioned drag race, an elimination drag race to find out which is the fastest. So right here, we have the brand new Ram 1500 Hemi with e-torque. A little bit of a, perhaps, advantage. Next to it is the Nissan Titan. This, I think, is one of the best sounding trucks in the land. Let's keep going. Right here, we have the Ford F-150, but under the hood, zero turbos, all Coyote. And last but not least, we have the most powerful truck that you can buy with the most horsepower, the GMC 1500 with the 6.2 liter. And of course, here we have the two guys who are gonna find out the answer to that question. Question. Yes, Sam. Andre. Where is the Tundra? We tried to get the Tundra, but the media fleet was unavailable. I think it was the SEMA, so it's not here. I feel terrible about it, but there's nothing we can do about that. Question. Yes. Where's Big Green? Oh, that's another video. <laughs> yeah, it's a different video. Sorry, Big Green's actually getting fixed. <laughs> <laughs> All right, boys, you ready to do some rock and roll racing? Hell yeah. Hell yeah, V8 power. I kind of feel like Ford had the advantage when we raced all six trucks and by the way you can watch that video up here because obviously we're at a mile above sea level and the twin turbo truck doesn't suffer as much but Andre I kind of feel the same way now because they sent us the lightest two-wheel drive truck well I asked for a fuel efficiency truck yeah. and that's what they sent us and I don't have control exactly of what they're gonna bring yeah. but I'm still excited for the Coyote how are we gonna do this I think we do an elimination so let's start with Titan versus Coyote, uh, GMC versus Ram, uh, and then the winner of those two goes for all the marbles. Sounds good. All right. Well, dude, the F-150, you have the Coyote. It's kind of a ringer, because it's got, you know, smaller tires, uh, lightweight. I don't know if it's fair. There's no such thing as fair. I'm gonna whoop your ass like a redheaded stepchild. Dude, life is not fair. By the way, the best way to launch the Nissan is in reverse. Trust me. Now, drag racing trucks is often about axle ratios. That's 293 and that's a 315. And you may be wondering why don't we get the same axle ratio in all of the trucks? Well, that would be about as easy and possible as getting the first parking space at Walmart on Black Friday at Thanksgiving. It's just not possible. I got a good launch. Ooh, he got a better launch than me. But... <laughs> Wait, what the heck? What? I had a really good start and then you just took over. I had a crappy start and I still beat you, so we're good. Actually, <laughs> we're not good. No. This video is brought to you by our friends Rugged Radios at ruggedradios.com. Use the discount code FASTLANE for a 20% discount and you too can smack talk your best friend. truck right now the Hindenburg all right now we're looking at 392 342 the Hemi 
has the e-torque system, which really doesn't help you much in drag racing. It's meant to enable the truck to be a mild hybrid and allows you to do a thing like stop start so you save fuel, which is actually pretty interesting because the Hemi gets 19 mpg combined. In a drag race, will it help? Eh, probably not. It doesn't do much once you get off the line. All right, let's see which of these two bad boy V8s is the fastest in the land, and they will take on the Ford. Good start. Yeah, the e-torque helped, but I'm still ahead. Well, not by much, though. Oh, no! What is happening? So I guess more horsepower and more torque wins? Oh. Wait, I'm aerodynamic! We gotta talk about the F-150 here because it's the only two-wheel drive truck here and it's kind of a base model, an XLT, but it also means that it's very lightweight, doesn't have a lot of options, it weighs just under 5,000 pounds. On the other hand, this GMC, yes, it has more power, but it's a four-wheel drive truck with a lot of options. And this truck weighs almost 600 pounds more than the Ford. The Ford has an advantage in weight, if not power. By the way, we're at IMI Motorsport Park in Decano, Colorado. You're welcome to come up here. So I need a good launch. I got traction control off. Okay. Brake torque. I'm in sport mode. It's Ford versus GM for winner winner chicken dinner. Now if you're wondering, the GMC is pretty much identical to the Silverado, so really it's GM versus Ford. It's most powerful truck in the land versus, well, the one that's the lightest, at least here, and no turbos. So this is all about naturally aspirated power. So let's do this race and see which of these two is fastest. If it were my money, I'd have no clue. No clue. Oh my goodness. Just to save that, just, just to... Which one of those two won? Oh man, I have no clue that was within inches. We may have to go to the slow motion replay to pick a winner. It was that close. Wowie, that was such a close race. I think that's the closest drag race we've had with any truck. But Coyote by a nose? Coyote by a nose. If you know what we have to do now? Let's swap trucks for this top notch race. Is it man or machine? We're gonna find out. We just switched drivers. But, you know, I got this sneaking suspicion that that truck is a ringer of a truck. So if that were, the Ford were an all wheel drive version, even with that Coyote and weighed, I don't know, a couple hundred pounds more, I think the GMC would kill it. But, this is what we're given, so this is what we're drag racing. All right, here we go. One more. Nathan, I'm only doing this for the sake of science. That's the only reason we do any of this. I mean, this is all scientific stuff. Come on, V8. Let's go, let's go, let's go! Yeah, better it. See, I didn't lose traction this time. Surprise, surprise, surprise. The lightest truck with- Rear drive the, only. With the small wheels, with, you know, the best power to weight ratio one. And I kind of feel like uh, Forts and us are ringer boys. Yeah, but they had no idea that we were gonna be drag racing them, right? Not really, no. They sent it here for an efficiency run. 
That's strange. So the question is, and we need your help with this, what would happen if we had a four-wheel drive Ford with the Coyote with the added weight? Let us know in the comments below which truck you think would have won. I think it would have been a Tundra. <laughs> oh, great. <laughs> Just created more hate. <laughs> anyway, thanks for watching, and check out tfltruck.com for more news, views, and, of course, real-world toughest truck drag racing reviews. See you guys next time. Ciao. Heck yeah.